Hello beautiful people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from. This is going to be the third video in the Microsoft Exchange 2019 video series. And what we are doing here today is that since we have already prepared our server, we're actually going to install the Exchange server itself. It shouldn't take us much time, but you know, this is a live environment. We can always get into any error message, but we're going to fix as we go. So what I've done here is that I've actually downloaded the Exchange Server 2019 uh, CU12 and I've actually mounted to my E drive. Then I'm going to click on setup to run it. So we should have like um, a display right here. So just like, um, yeah, it's a Microsoft Server Exchange. So you want to connect to the internet to check the update. Don't do that right now. So it's more, it's nothing complicated with installing this once you prepare your server. But like I mentioned, yeah, we can always run into any, any issue because of some system requirement. So let's see how this goes and then we can we can work together so let's see it's not taking that much time though always remember that um if we are following this video tutorial we wanted to make sure that we are doing the same so this is how we can actually learn together so we install it together if we are getting some error message based on different devices you can always reach out and we can take a look into it together and uh, we can see and compare so now uh, the installation is actually setting up i think what this is doing is actually um what this is doing is that is actually uh checking for some prerequisites just to make sure that the all the necessary stuff is there okay look at that welcome to exchange server so next i'm going to accept i don't have any issue with that and um use recommended so here what kind of server we don't want to have here so i will do mailbox role i'm not going to do the edge transport role right here maybe i'm going to do it on different server in the future so why not that automatically install Windows Server role and features that are required to install Exchange. Next. So I'm going to do, I'm very happy where it's going to install this. If you are not, you can actually put the installation in a different place. Next. Let me see something. Hmm. This my I got twenty nine thousand. It's only need five thousand. Okay, I'm just gonna do next. Now I'm just gonna leave it as no and install. So once the installation finish, uh, I'll be back. It shouldn't be that much. Look at that. It's really fast. Okay, this is the error message that I'm actually. So now it said, "Are uh, the IIS URL rewrite module isn't installed on the computer?" So how do we fix this? So all we have to do is just click on this and it's going to open where we can actually download that. So as we are able to see here, it's a download and install. So we click on the download and we're going to look at that. Okay, we need the English version 64. Look at that, our first error message. How cool is that? All right, so let's wait for that. Okay, now that we have the installation finished, I'm just going to click on it to open. I'm going to accept the terms and condition for the license, and I'm going to install. So this should actually help us to fix this issue right there. So once that is done, I'm going to retry. Let me take this one away.
Wow. So it looks like everything in the cat is on trade. And uh, let me just wait a little bit because I think. Okay, install. Now we are going to start doing the, the first one, you know, copy the exchange file. It's really moving faster. So what I'm going to do right here is just zip my T. And once the installation finish, I'll be right back. Wow, this process actually take almost like one and a half hours. I can't believe it. But just for you to know, it's going to take like it depends on your resources. It might take like one hour or two hours for these to finish. Now, once we click on finish, I think uh, this is actually done. So to be honest, not sure why it's actually come like this, but at least it's done and finished. I can go ahead and think what I'm going to do right now is just let me check something right here. I can really do something. So I can guarantee and verify that this is actually finished. So let's see what's going on.